Hey guys, the Cube Dude here. Today we have an unboxing from Rubix. So here we have the Rubix Speed Cube 2x2. Now recently they came out with a Rubix Speed Cube 3x3. I believe they partnered with GAN. And here this is with tiles. It's very smooth, very quiet. And so I'm very interested to see what the feeling of this 2x2 is like. But first, just taking a look at the packaging on the back. We have reinvented for speed cubing. Okay, it looks like it is using a GAN core. It looks like it is partnered with GAN. We have tiles, effortless turning. Rubik's Speed 2x2. Two two. On the side we have a little QR code if you guys are interested in scanning that. I'm curious to know what that actually scans to. I guess this would be a nice little display thing actually, now that I think about it. Just put it up against the wall and then just plop it in there. So here we have that. I'll probably keep that for that exact reason. Here we have the Rubik's Speed Cube 2x2. Two two. And inside you can actually see the GAN nuts right there. That's pretty neat. Alright, so let's open this bad boy up. Alright, so a lot of people on this channel probably know that my main 2x2 is this Fangxi 2x2. I'm not exactly sure on the name of it. I believe the brand is Fangxi. It's tiled. It's from a couple years ago. I haven't really been up to date with all the new 2x2s in the past few years. But this, I'm very excited to uh, take a look at. Uh, right off the bat, see the colors if they're the same. So it seems like they're approximately the same colors as on the Rubik's Speed Cube. Maybe a little bit darker red and maybe a little bit uh, lighter orange, or maybe that's just the lighting. Not sure, but they are tiles, so no chipping. And let's go ahead and take a look at first turns. Alright, so that is a very quiet 2x2. It seems like Rubik's partnering with GANs usually results in a quiet cube. But it's very smooth. Very controllable. Alright, so let's take a look at corner cutting. Just over 45 degrees. In reverse. Is about there. So far, this seems like a pretty good 2x2. It's definitely already my main. As you guys saw, I was using a pretty outdated 2x2. Two two. Alright, so here we have this scrambled. I'm going to do a couple solves. You guys can judge me. Feel free to be as mean as you want in the comments. I'm kidding. Please don't roast me. Anyways, uh, here we go with the solve. Alright, was not expecting that. Alright, take two. So here I have the tensioning tool from the GAN 254, and let's see if any of these work on this. It's a smaller nut. That's, that seems too small. Okay, right here. All right, so this one right here is the one that fits on this. I don't have any nuts to replace it with. I'm not actually sure where you can get nuts that small. Maybe with the old 2x2, or with the uh, maybe with the other GAN 2x2s. I'm not 100% sure, but if you guys want to let me know in the comments down below, that would be much appreciated, and anybody watching this video, Go ahead and check the comments to see if you can actually purchase other nuts. So I'm not actually sure when this cube is going to be sold, uh, and I'm not quite sure on the price. I couldn't find it on the Rubik's website. But once the cube is up on the Rubik's website, I will be sure to have a link down in the description. But until then, you can find the Rubik's.com website down in the description. Go ahead and take a look at that. So my overall thoughts on this is that it's a pretty smooth, quiet, controllable 2x2. Two two. I like the feel of the tiles. They're very smooth. My fingers aren't slipping at all on them, and I'm not uh, and I'm pretty happy that I'm not going to have to worry about chipping or stickers and that's kind of why I stuck with the tiled 2x2 two two, but also just because I kind of suck at 2x2. Two two. I'd like to thank Rubik's for sending this out to me to test for them. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to check out their website, I'll have a link to that in the description. It's nice to see Rubik's branching out and making speed cubes that aren't 3x3. Three three. I think it'd be cool to see a Rubik's speed cube 4x4. Four four. Maybe that'll be next. Who knows? If you guys enjoyed that video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of all my future videos. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.